Llegó, sí. Bueno. Ya. Ya lo mejor. Pero, pero no lo tengo registrado, mira. No tengo registrado el número. Ya. Colgué. A las 7.26, otra vez de más. Y a otra vez el niño. Que es, es una, eh, era una voz de una mujer. ¿Cómo se llamó la obra? No, otra vez. Ya nada más dijo la mujer. Bueno, y el niño, Julio. Entonces, vamos a ver qué le cuesta. Dice, no, estamos en octubre. <risa> y qué le cuesta rápido. Dice, mire, pues me marca otra vez 7.27. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hey, my fair. Nice to hear you. What are you doing? Nothing. Today is a relaxed day. It is a relaxing day here. Yes, it is. Okay. And well, changing a little bit the topic. Um, how did you see yesterday's topic? At first, I have very confused, but uh, in the exercise, uh, was easy. Was easy. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not saying you'll have many exercises there uh, using only phrasal verbs. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. But something that is uh, real for you is when you really start uh, having this more often contact with people who are speaking in the other language, obviously, and, and that is something real, obviously they are using a lot of these words. So yeah, I mean, like because they are very common. Yes, and also like I told you, uh, like they are verbs, you know, when we speak most of the time, what we use are verbs, actions. Okay, so yeah, consider it please. Uh, studying or, or making uh, some time or, or why not here also on your computer yes i have told you only uh, type on google yes and google in and check i mean you also use it for for some uh, nouns like this google in and when i say google in is the internet okay why because google and in because it's inside Okay, so you can Google in and you can just write uh, here on your computer uh, phrasal verbs with get, phrasal verbs with have, phrasal verbs with come, etc. <laughs> and you will have plenty of exercises. Okay, and well, very nice. Hello, girl. Hello, teacher. One of them, one of the most beautiful names I have ever heard, Field the Guard. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> okay, here. All right. The next topics that we are studying today are the, the, the easiest. All right. That's what I think so. Okay, so let's start with this. Do you know when using make and you know when using do? Okay. So give me your your opinions. Yes, what what do you know about the use of make and the use of do? Hello, Victor. Hello, teacher. Very nice and and Maffer. What do you know, girls? Using make and using do. Maybe make when you have to do things with, with your hands and do when you use your body. Okay. 
So make uh, using, sorry, enhance and do using your body. Can be something, no, not real, but can be something. Okay, another one. Maybe make uh, when you create and mm -hmm. do, uh, well, uh, whatever thing. When you create and do is when what? Es que quiero decir otra vez do. <laughs> when you do, uh, yeah. yeah uh, do. Uh, whatever thing. When you do whatever. Okay. This one is a little bit closer. Yes, you have some information really precise here. Hey, I don't know, Danny, you look, do you want to say something? Me? Yes, Danny, Victor, do you want to say something about using make and do? Um, let me see. Uh, you use make when you are going to put um, a something together, to, to piece something together, um, and do when you are starting from scratch, and mm -hmm. or you are using your own hands. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, make a sandwich. You are just putting together all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Uh, do your homework. Uh, there's already the paper, there's already the, your pencil. You just need to like use your hands to make the exercises. <laughs> to, okay, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, something, something like this. Okay, give me a second. Mm, I got to send you here this. What is the group? What is the group? Almost here. Okay, right there, guys. You have received uh, something on your cell phone. Okay, so yeah, I mean, using make and using do. Yes, make just just uh, something simple to to define with this word is. Creativity, comma, invention. Yes, um, creativity and invention. Let's let's leave it like this. Okay. So when you're using your creativity, is because it is something new. And obviously, when it's an invention, yes, you are creating something that is new. Okay, so in this, in this, when using make, it's because something, something uh, comes together with new. And we say for do, yes, uh, do the things in automatic. When I say automatic, it means that we learn, or anyone, a person, learns yes just by watching somebody else doing something and then you know how to do it okay so for example there if you open the the link or or, or the message that i sent out there you have can see some uh, combinations like make a mess. Did you really make a mess or, or making a mess? Is this something creative? In a certain form, it is. Yes, because every time a person is thinking about something that is new, something that is attractive, something that is a disaster or a new disaster, you don't copy the disasters, although sometimes we do. Yes, 
But when you when, when you make a disaster, when you make a mess, it's because uh, you are creating something new. Okay, we have another one. Make a speech. Yeah. When, example, for example, when you finish your university, yes, obviously the com the complete group agrees. Who is going to say the words for? Okay, don't worry, Mr. Big. Yes, thank you. Uh, when you are graduating, yes, the group selects somebody to say one speech. And obviously that person has to create something, something for the group, a message for, for parents, for students, for teachers. Yes? Um, make a list. Exactly. I mean, for example, teachers make a list of your new group. I mean, every time we are changing the names and we have, well, we say new students, right? So yeah, we are making a list. Sometimes we have 10 students, sometimes we have five, etc. So we are making our list. Yes, make an appointment. Yes, exactly. You create one appointment with who's with your doctor. Yes, with your best friend. It sounds really uh, tender, tender. Yes, with your ex. All right. So so yeah, you can make an appointment. Uh, make a difference. Yeah, you make a difference, right? Every time a people, anyone, any person is creating something to be unique. All right, make a wish. Make a wish. So when it's your birthday, you have your, your cake. Yes, automatically before you blow out your, your candle, your candles. Yes, everybody's asking, make a wish, create something that in this moment you don't have. Yes, but you want it, right? Well, I mean, my wish, my wish, I, I wish an iPhone. Ooh, maybe another person is, is, has the same wish, but still you are creating something because in this moment you don't have it so it doesn't matter like, like this okay make peace yes make peace when when you uh, or when a person is having uh, problems right with somebody yeah you have to make peace different forms looking for what the correct form is for you yes to to have this peace moment okay uh, make make arrangements Exactly. If you want to go on vacation, what you do is a plan. And in this plan, you arrange the hotel, the restaurants, the different attractions, etc. Okay, so you make arrangements. Make a mistake. This one is, I mean, if you know that you uh, are writing, you are writing incorrect, for example, jump, yes, 
is because in that moment, you didn't know how to write jump. Make a, yes, make a decision, that's another one. Yes, you don't know how, make a mistake. You don't know, how, you didn't know how to, to, to write jump. And then when you analyze, you say that you commit or you make a mistake. So the next time you don't commit the same mistake. Why? Because you know how to write it. Make a discovery. Yes, uh, make a decision also. Uh, you create your, your decisions. Yes, in a different form. Make a make an effort. Hey, I forgot how to write effort. Oh, oh, oh. give me a second. Effort with T, not with T. Yes, make an effort. Yes, every time you want to do uh, uh, something new, just you make an effort. Yes, something that for you is new. Okay. Uh, give me a second. I, I was coming here. Make a noise. Yes, when somebody make a noise, well, you know how to make a noise uh, differently. Yes, make a plan. Make a suggestion. Uh, uh, what else? What else? Uh, make war. Mm -hmm. Ah, this one. Make make your bed. I can't really. My my bed is is new. Yes. No. I'm not saying that your bed is new. I mean, what I'm saying by make your bed, yes, is that your bed has something that is particular and according to your personality. Yes, so you say, I want my bed with, with a cover of frozen and the sheets, savannas, yes, the sheets color, Color purple. Okay, one person. Another person, no, I want my sheets white color and my cover of a tiger. So you are making your bed different forms. Some people, they like to have two pillows. Other people, they like to have three, four, five, six, six, seven different pillows. Okay, make money. Really, teacher? I create money, I have a machine. No, we are not saying to, to have a machine for making money. But we say when we have this make money is, what is the way, what is the form for you? Yes, to have money. Ah, I work for a company. Ah, no, I have a business. Ah, you know what? I help my mom and dad in the business. So you have different forms of making some money, all right? So make, make, you know, we have plenty right there in the link that I send you out, you have some examples, all right? And you can keep searching. And remember this topic also has the past. Made, and it's the same. Made a mess, made a speech, made a list, or with auxiliaries, I have made and continuous. And also it has a continuous form. Yes, so using models, 
should make. All right. So here you need to consider, yes, also the different tenses and the different forms of using make in past and using past participle, ing, and with models. Okay. Questions? No teacher. No questions. Okay, now do. When you say do, it is because the activity is in automatic. What I say in, in automatic, yes, for example, you learn by seeing how people do the laundry. Okay, do the laundry. Ah, uh, please do the laundry. You go to the laundry room. You get your soap. Yes. Uh, you turn on the laundry machine. Put water. Yes. Uh, put your cloth in. And then your soap. All right. Close the machine. And then wait for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes until uh, it's ready and then take it out. All right, so you learn just by seeing how to do things, okay? Do homework, that's the reason we say do homework. Also because you practice at school Okay, you practice and then when the teacher is, a, is able to tell you, you know what, this is the homework. Yes, a repetition of the exercise. And you say, ah, so then I do homework, come, yes. Okay, do a favor. Also here, uh, you analyze what the favor is. And if the favor is, correct, you do it in automatic. If the favor is not correct, because obviously you don't do it. Yes? Do better. Yeah, in this case, you know if you study every day, yes, and you take your notes and you are reviewing every time, just what is the result that you do better every time? Do something. Yeah, that one is in automatic. Yes. Do, do the dishes. In automatic, you saw your mom, how she was washing the dishes, and then the next time, it's your turn, so you know how to do it. Okay. Um, do a test. Do a job. You don't create your jobs. Well, what you create is a company. Yes, but the job, this is in automatic. Work, uh, clean, uh, use the computer, etc. I mean, it's not something new. You know, you know what to do when you are working. Yes. Uh, do nothing. Yes. You don't create anything, so you don't do anything. Do exercise. Yeah. When you say, I want to do exercises because it's in automatic, you know what the exercise is. Run, uh, push-ups, gym, uh, running, etc. All right, and it's in automatic. Uh, another one, uh, let me see. 
Um, do the household do, do an exam. Uh, do the shopping. Shopping. Uh, um, let me see another one. Do a drawing. Uh, do justice. Okay. So here you have some combinations that you can use using do, all right, using do. And also consider here the different tenses. What is the pass of do, did? And in case you are using, yes, you are using a present perfect, have or has done. Okay. Uh, doing in case that you are using a uh, ing, right? And also using models. Should do, must do, can do, etc. Okay. Also here, you need to be able to have all of these different combinations when studying, when reading this sentences. Okay. Problems. Do exercise, yes, very nice. Problems, students. Not a chair. No? No teacher. Okay. Well, what is the, the what is this skill about? Okay. Well, the skill is super practical and easy. Yes, why? Because they are saying problems with the use. Okay, so it means, for example, he was making exercise in the sports center. Automatically, this, this sentence is incorrect. Why? Because it's not the correct combination for exercise. This is what the book is doing with you. Making these mistakes, creating these mistakes. Yes, so then you don't see or don't notice what the incorrect part is and you commit the mistake. Right? Okay. He likes to do her own clothes. Okay. He likes to do her own clothes. Read, interpret. Tell me if it is correct. Incorrect, teacher, it's incorrect. Okay, why is incorrect? Because she is creating the clocks. Yes, so making. or make, 
She likes to make her own clothes. So it's a new creativity to her own clothes. Okay, in the morning, morning, she's making all the dishes from last night. What do you think? Anything correct? Huh? Where? The making for do. She's do or doing? Doing, exactly. The correct combination for dishes. Okay, so this is what we need to, to, to read and to clarify. The information is written correctly, and this make and do is use a correct in the next sentences. If not, it's obviously the sentence is incorrect. Okay, students. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's let's open your book in page two two one two hundred twenty one. Okay, let's go down, down, down to the bottom of this page. You have the first two sentences and in the next page, you have the rest. Number one, the biology student did several mistakes in the lab report. The noun is mistake. The verb is did. Is it the correct combination? No. What the correct combination is? The biology student made several mistakes. Why? Because that is the correct combination, make mistakes. Number two, I hope that you will be able to do me a favor this afternoon. Do a favor. Is it the correct combination? Yes, because favors are in automatic. So the number two is correct. Okay. Well, turn to the next page, two, 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 222. Sentences, three to 10. Let's start. One, two, and three.
Richard. Yes, tell me. Uh, the dinner is uh, something that you create or? You tell me. Or invent. I mean, what do you think? Uh, Maybe, but, but the, the, you... people, the people, the uh, people prepares, people prepare, sorry, people prepare these things in automatic. I mean, everything is the same, the same. Or maybe they are creating something new. Or maybe they say, you know what? Let's check what happens if I combine this and that. What do you mm -hmm. think? Okay, yes, is in, in this in that case you can you create that if you follow a recipe. Well, that one is just following the recipe. I mean, don't don't get a, like no te no te portes así tan 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 cuadrada. Tienes una receta, por ejemplo, de cómo preparar este chuletas al carbón, no sé, algo así, sí. Ah, pero ¿qué crees? La receta nada más dijo esta. Pero ¿qué tal que yo le quiero agregar? Sí, salsa barbecue. ¿Estoy creando algo nuevo o estoy siguiendo nada más la receta? Algo nuevo. Pues, that is what I mean, ¿ok? Yes, you follow the recipe. And also, I mean, what is the, what is the objective of chefs? to create something new and attractive for uh, people who have a really, really delicate taste. Okay. Yes? I have another doubt. Yes, tell me. The writing do or make the, the right? The writings? The writing, yes. The what writing. number? Number nine. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. I mean, the analysis there is 